so you know years ago and I do appreciate I'm getting old and three parts rooted but we never knew anything about toxic workplaces and and what was good and what was bad so since finishing work quite a while ago now but it's been a time of reflection and so I've had three workplaces. One was with family, in partnership with family, and, and two others working with someone else. And it turns out that all three of those were highly toxic workplaces. Very different, each one. And I think the worst was with family. or well, the worst might have been the last one, actually. At Halls, Ellerslie Free Range Farms, now 60% owned by Canada's PSB Investments, helping to fund the pensions of your average Canadian on the street through their marketing arm, Sunny Queen Eggs or Sunny Queen Farms. So between my last two jobs, I took three months off and there were a number of signals that the whole Ellerslie, what well, was it called Ellerslie in those days, was going to be toxic. First one, I guess, was the owner, managing director. We didn't have a CEO in those days, calling me during the three months I took off to talk about markets and what the business should be buying. Looking back, that's probably shouldn't be a thing but again we weren't as broke as we once were but I still needed to get in and work so I didn't have time to worry about that just thought it was all part of normal procedure the second one and again I, I didn't really think about it till much later on but when he offered me the job he offered me a salary which wasn't that much and any four-wheel drive that I wanted anyway he called me to a meeting about two weeks before I was to start and and said that I was just to go ahead and get a Holden or a Falcon U. Again, I thought that was fine because I didn't really want a four-wheel drive. I didn't want to stand out, just blend in with the crowd. And the problem wasn't the step-down in car. The problem was, was what he said at the offer of the job and what he finished up saying was a requirement. So you know, that's something that's been tidied up on there and in reality, or didn't need to be. Don't know whether it has been. In fact, I was much happier driving the old white Holden Ute. As I say, just blended in with the crowd. However, still a signal of a toxic workplace. Also at that meeting, he wanted to address a rumor that had been circulating about me. And strangely enough, the rumor was started by the person I was replacing who had resigned to go off and do other things. So I'm just not sure why this person started those rumours, but I'm not even going to talk about those rumours here because they were not good. Some of that mud will stick with me for the rest of my life. So there's three, three before I started. I remember walking in on my first day and I was, you almost had to shovel the toxicity aside to get to your desk. It was just a seething mass and heap of toxicity in there. There was a couple of bullies in the office, there's a bit of a few extramarital affairs going on, or two extramarital affairs going on. One extramarital affair, the two ladies were still working in the office, and of course you can imagine how well that was going down. Another one had been caught for drink driving while going home from the lover to the husband. Nobody was prepared to address the bullying. The person that was supposed to be managing the admin finance side of the business refused to. The owner refused to. And I didn't know that for many years, but when one of the bullies was right into it, giving someone a right towel up, he had just allegedly said, well, I'm not going to talk to her. It was just phenomenal. Anyway, I had a job to do, so and I needed to do that job. So I just batted down the hatches and got on with it. Looking back, should never have started there. It was a shithole, that main office. Hard to comprehend, really. Not sure what I would have done. No skill, no talent, no ability. But looking back, I probably wouldn't have started. But life took a different course about two years into my employment. And I actually moved into the department that I was managing remotely. But due to us having to move quite a number of people on, isolate it and manage it and detoxify it. The skill was then keeping the politics and the toxicity on the other side, on the outside, and developing a team of people, which is what I found I really enjoyed over time was developing people and helping people achieve better things for the business and for themselves. If they're not achieving for themselves, then they can't really be committed to achieving for the business as well. Lots more to talk about there. But anyway, that's just a few little indications of toxicity up to the end of my first week. And there's so many more, so many more.